It is Monday, February 13th, 2023. And today we're going to go back to a match that happened at WrestleMania 3, Randy Savage versus Ricky Steamboat. This is one of the best uh, matches WrestleMania ever had, considered by many. Of course, everybody has an opinion. It could be not liked by many people, too. But generally, this is one of the better matches WrestleMania has ever had. And it's probably one of the first truly great matches in WrestleMania history. Because it happened at the third. What had happened is Randy Savage had crushed uh, Ricky Steamboat's larynx with the bell. He had draped him over the railing outside and jumped off the top rope to outside with the timekeeper's bell and smashed him like in the back of the neck and just crushing his larynx on the railing. And then Ricky Steamboat was like he couldn't breathe and they took him away and then he could, had to <clears throat> relearn how to speak and and it, it set up a, a feud in which the match was for the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 3, which was on the undercard of Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. But it was by far the best match on the card, in my opinion, even though the Hogan Andre had all the excitement and all the interest. And, and it was it wasn't a great match in terms of just pure wrestling, but it was in terms of uh, the storyline Hogan and Andre was. Uh, historic match but this match had a great storyline leading into a great match fast pace and uh george the animal steel was uh, outside the ring for ricky steamboat and elizabeth was outside the ring for macho man during the match and it, there was a lot of uh pin attempts in the match i don't know how many there was like 20 of them or something like that i, f I forget what it was but they uh Tried to pin each other. A lot, a lot of kickouts, but Steamboat ended up winning the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. And of course, this match is on the network if you want to see it. But so I'm recreating it here, letting the computer versus computer do what it needs to do here to have the match. These are both uh, community creation wrestlers. Mosh Man's in the game, but this, it's a community creation one I found that I liked. Better than the in-game one. And Ricky Steamboat's not in the game. So this is the created Ricky Steamboat off of Community Creations. Hopefully Steamboat will be in WWE 2K23 because he was he was in 19. And uh, he's, yeah, he's uh, hopefully he comes back for uh, 23. He's not in the roster yet for 23. So we are just uh, five days away from the Elimination Chamber. So let's say today's Monday, so this Saturday night, Elimination Chamber. See what happens with uh, Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. Who do you think is going to win, Roman Reigns or Sami Zayn, uh, Saturday night? I think it's the, yeah, that's the last pay-per-view before WrestleMania 39. And Monday Night Raw tonight. Let's see, see how they further everything going on as we head towards WrestleMania. I wonder if Edge will be on there tonight. He was on last week. So yeah. Macho Man with a big punch dropping Steamboat down there. Notice Steamboat's headband is, is must be on there pretty good because it won't fall off no matter what happens to him. It's just hanging on. I, I got to get a headband like that that doesn't fall off no matter how much you get thrown around. It's a pretty good headband. So here, Steve's going to drop him in a turnbuckle. Boom. Yeah, the steamboat is the the white tights here. I think that's what he wore at WrestleMania three. But I think his his LJN figure had black tights. I believe the and uh, Macho Man had like a. I think he wore. I'm trying to remember, I think he wore like purple tights the rest of WrestleMania three. These are these are like. I think he wore this like a WrestleMania four of those tights. For uh, people who uh, like to keep track of a. Uh, the different attires they wear, different colors they like to wear. Macho Man wore a lot of different colors. Some wrestlers wear the same thing, and but some wrestlers like the Ultimate Warrior always were very colorful, had different colors for different matches. And and uh, Macho Man was the same way; he had a lot of different colors. I should do that. The WrestleMania Seven uh, Randy Savage for Ultimate Warrior retirement match. I should simulate that one day for for uh, this channel. That was a great match. I don't know what was better, uh, Hogan Warrior at WrestleMania 6 or Hogan and, I mean, uh, Warrior and Savage at WrestleMania 7. Ooh, Steamboat just kicked out there. 
Let's see here. Now, uh, Steamboat's finisher, he used to do a high crush body off the top rope. And Macho Man, of course, does a famous elbow drop off the top rope. One of the best top rope elbow drops I've seen. He was, he was great, at, great at doing that. He was uh, Macho Man. These, both these guys were great high flyers and great wrestlers. Always, always had uh, good matches. They had actually fought at house shows uh, before their WrestleMania three matches. Now it wasn't the first time they wrestled. It was just a, they're probably their best match. I mean that's just opinion. Depends on what you think, but it was one of their best matches. They're they're. Uh, Probably, I'm sure a lot of people liked um, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker better at WrestleMania 25 and 26. But if I'm gonna pick one, this is this is my favorite uh, wrestling as far as pure wrestling goes. Uh, this is my favorite wrestling match of uh, WrestleMania so far. The first 38 WrestleManias that are in the books, this this is my favorite match as far as the uh, just pure uh, athletic wrestling. In the match, but there was a lot of a lot of great matches at WrestleMania. Of course, there was the, the Bret Hart Steve Austin match at WrestleMania 13. That was that was a, a very popular one. But that that was I don't think that one was as athletic as this one. That one had the, the great great probably a better story. Although the story for this one was good too. This how this Macho Man nearly ended Steamboat's career and he came back. And this one was. Uh, like I said, for the Intercontinental title. I believe Steamboat and Randy Savage uh, had cage matches at house shows after this, too. After The, the WrestleMania should have had a, a cage match, but they did they actually did it at house shows, I think. If you go to, I think it's called uh, historyofww.com, they have they have uh, all the match listings. You can, you can look all that up. We got a nice atomic drop by Steamboat. I used to like uh, how Steamboat did arm drags. He, he used to do great arm drag takedowns into an arm bar. Steamboat also had great matches with Ric Flair too. With the, that was I think Wrestle War '89, and uh, they they had a bunch of great matches. A lot of people probably would pick the Flair Steamboat matches over the, this Macho Man Steamboat match, but I, I prefer the Steamboat Macho Man match. Of course, Macho Man and Flair had a great match at WrestleMania Eight. That, that was. Uh, Good one too. The WrestleMania where everybody thought it was gonna be Hogan and Flair, and ended up being Macho Man and Flair, which which was not bad either, of course, because Hogan and Flair had been fighting at the house shows before WrestleMania eight, and they they had they had a couple matches at the Garden. Let's see a cover. He's probably gonna kick out of this one. Yeah, he kicked out. Steamboat's beating up pretty good. He's he's almost all red, so his head's orange. He's he's uh, I bet you Macho Man's gonna win this one. He's He's got a Macho Man just got a finisher. Oh, I think he's going for it right now. This may end it. We're eight minutes in. That may be it. Let's see what happens here. No, he kicked out of that. It's pretty good. All right. Steamboat's tough. So this match, this match may go past ten minutes now. The yeah, Macho Man's just uh, yeah, he's not a lot less beaten up than Steamboat. Steamboat, nice suplex there. He he just took Macho Man to Suplex City. All right, now working leg over here. That's what they don't do enough now. They work a body part over and work it down, but set up their finisher to help them get the move. That's what's great about this game. You can like work an arm over and turn it red, then do a, a, a sub submission on it, and more likely to get the submission. Work a leg over an arm. But I like I like to do that. It's a, uh, something they used to do a lot more in matches. They would wear an arm down till till it was beaten down, and then and then they do the finisher on it and more likely to get him to quit. Alright, whip steamboat and ropes, nice elbow. Yeah, Macho Man used to do that a lot. It's pretty the move set on this Macho Man is set up pretty good. Alright, what's he gonna do now? The, the double axe handle? Yeah, there it is, the double axe handle. I like when Macho Man used to do that. You go off the top rope, get his opponent on the floor, you jump off the top rope down to the arena floor with the double axe handle. He's do that all the time. Oh, he's cheating. He'll kick out. They always kick out of this. Yeah. I still still haven't seen anybody get a pin with the, with the dirty pin with the foot on the ropes on this game. Now, uh, Steamboat's going to... Steamboat got a finisher. See if he uses it. But he's gonna, is he going to cover him right now? Yeah, all right. He's going he's gonna to kick out probably. But see if he uses a finisher. 
Yeah, he kicked out. He should go use his finisher now, try to finish him off here. Which, oh, he might be doing. Here he goes. He's going up. Yeah, this is it. He's going to go. No, he's always elbow. He just did a Macho Man elbow. And that probably won't get him. He needs to do his high cross body at the top. Yeah, he kicked out again. Steamboat's got to use that finisher. I mean, he must want Macho Man to suffer a bit, beat on him. Like, they used to pin guys, and they'd pull him up and, and, and so they could beat him up some more and just just to torture him. Steamboat. Oh, here it is. This is this is probably his finisher. He's 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 waiting to get up. Let's see if he hits it. Oh, he missed his finisher. <laughs> oh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't lose it in the bottom there. Though. He still has it. Maybe because it, he didn't make contact. Maybe. I don't know what that was. I never saw Steamboat do that in real life. Just completely missed a finisher, like an air ball. All right, now he's trying it again. Let's see if he hits it this time. Oh, Macho Man reversed. He caught him. Look at that. Let's see here. That might have ended it, but Macho Man caught him. Now Macho Man has a finisher. See if he uses his. Yeah, he's. Yep, there he goes. Nope, he's going to do the black. Oh, he got caught. Look at that. Off the top rope. That's a long way down. If the top top rope's high. If you ever seen the the ring? That top rope has got to be, I don't know how high it is, like five feet or something. If you. Maybe uh, four, four, I don't know, five feet. Oh, here's Macho Man. All right, he hit it. Let's see if this ends it. This might end it. We're 12 minutes in, this may end it. Yep, Macho Man wins. And the real match, uh, Steamboat won. All right, I hope you enjoyed the match, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.